Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millibots Gaming has a wide assortment of sealed products, singles, codes, and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Alrighty, thank you so much to everyone who is here once again. Cheers, uh, Ryan, the water I owe you. <laughs> and so we're gonna be moving on to the Mew Box deck. It's a pretty fun deck to play with. You get to use Memories of Dawn to use any attacks from any basic bone you have in play, but you still need the necessary energy to attack with. So with Dimension Valley, we are going to cut our attack costs by one color less less and we have four DCEs, three twins and two lightning energies to help us cover our attack costs. We have Cobra Prism to be able to use those lightning energy. Then we're going to be mainly copying Spit Shot to target down stuff on the bench and do 160 consistently back to back to back to back to back turns as much as we can. Since the very beginning, we also have Double B with Revenge Blast dealing a bunch of damage towards the end of the game and so that we can conserve our energy instead of discarding it. We have access to Bundle Beast, Burrow and Rototiller to recover resources or um, discard an opponent's top deck. We have Clefairy to use Metronome to copy our opponent's broken attacks as well. Uh, we have Jirachi's Stardust attack where you discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon and you prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to his Pokemon during your opponent's next turn, especially good against ADP's Double Dragon energies. And we have Seismitoady X, Fiendboss Manco, thanks so much for, for the host. We have Seismitoady X in case we want to Quaking Punch and deny items for a bit. We also have Psychic, I guess, with Orangurus um, attack to punish high energy attacks, so the damage output probably won't be good enough. We'll see. We can also copy Double Lily's energy drive as well. So we have a bunch, a bunch of options which are all really, really good. And um, the red challenge is super interesting here uh, to search for any card. Probably we're going to be using it to search for energy specifically when we don't need to teammates for it. Uh, we have Pokemon Ranger as well, which is really good to counter ADP. And so let's jump into a ladder and see what we can do with this deck. I agree that this deck is super cool, super versatile. You get to copy a bunch of attacks. And this is what I mean, like what is there? comparable to this in standard there's nothing like this like nothing as fun as as comparable as diverse you know so i don't know okay so edmund is going first if they choose to go first that's probably an indication that they are using the um the deck the turn one win deck though i haven't faced off against that in a while um i definitely haven't faced off against that in a while since my opponent chose second and the metal deck box, I'm gonna assume he has ADP station. Well, never mind. What? <laughs> what? Okay, I can't be this far down in the ladder though. Like, there's absolutely no way I am so far down in the ladder that. What? <laughs> what? And I'm dead drawing too. What? <laughs> um. Okay, so. I have no clue. I feel like I'm gonna search for Seismitoad and I'm just gonna pass for now. I have absolutely no clue what is happening. I do not know what Mega Akron EX does. I don't even know what this does. Steel Headbox, whoops. 50 damage, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 more damage for three energy. Hmm. Not fantastic. And Raging Hammer, this attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Okay. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I actually don't know what is happening. Uh, we have our two field blowers in case. I don't know. I have no clue. Let's see, battle compressor. I mean, could this possibly be Mew 3? No, because what is this attack cost? Like, there's no, there's no way. This is Mew 3 with Akron tech in there. I have no clue. I have no clue, I guess we'll find out. I 
guess we shall find out. All right. Could be some form of metal box with bronze on. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I'm definitely not winning next turn. I'm definitely not winning next turn. Well, there's a Genesec TX right there. <laughs> what? I still have absolutely no clue what this is. I really don't. Okay, my hand isn't very good though. So I'm wondering if I should just be catch. Honestly, I kind of like that. I'm gonna go for a B catch. And here's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for a Sixagon and an M. So I don't wanna get rid of all of this. And then with the Sixagon plus the N plus the DTE, I can snipe Lele with Cramorant. And potentially against like other stuff. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, like I, I didn't even notice that. He, wait, all four compressed? What? <laughs> I have no clue what's happening, honestly. I have absolutely no clue. No clue at all what is going on. Right. Dumby, thanks so much for the follow. Okay. So we're gonna go after Lele, right? Now, yeah, I, I'm definitely glad I top decked the Dedene because I really don't want to give my opponent anything. Is that worth it? I don't even know what attacks to use, like. I mean, I guess I want this for variety, right? I'm obviously not playing as the most competitive player, right? Um, okay, do I go after Scissor then? Nah, this is fine. I'll just pitch shot KO lately. I can go Scoop Up Net, KO Scissor. Yeah. <laughs> I have no clue what they're doing. I'm not super concerned so far. Wait, how do they get three metal energies onto that? They saucered and hit the elixirs. Like I haven't been able to pay attention because I'm trying to fix the computer thingy. Okay, my stadium gets countered. My stadium gets countered. This guy has 220 HP. 
This guy has 170. So, okay. I have my three prices, my six prices, right? I generally have my six prices. KO this guy, then KO this guy with um, scoop up net snipe. However, okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the damage preemptively onto this guy first. And then I'll do this. And then I'll grab the scoop of nets. And then I'll put the 10 damage over here. And then I do have Goose Mahala, so I'm just gonna grab the Goose Mahala raw and search for a stadium. I do not need anything else. So I fully expect the Mew to go down next turn, right? Whoops. Oh, wait. No, yeah, this is fine. And then I go Spit Shot, KO this guy, because that guy can evolve into Mega Scissor EX. That's why I'm KOing that guy instead of this guy. We'll take two prizes, and there's my win. That gets me the special energy and the stadium. This gets me the new, and then I just pit shot and KO Cobalion for the win. Nice. Pretty simple. I mean, obviously not the most competitive deck. <laughs> obviously not the most competitive deck, but what are you gonna do, right? What are you going to do? Counter stadiums, benches and others. Well, now it's Caesar V. So my bench is playing all the metal Pokemon that he probably owns, right? Playing all the metal Pokemon that he probably owns because if you're playing good metal Pokemon, you wouldn't play Agron EX and you wouldn't play Genesect EX. List is Toto. If you are watching on my computer, you can click on the view deck thingy. Um, otherwise, I can show it again, no problem. How is he down to eight cards and he has done nothing? <laughs> Otherwise, I'll show it in a little bit. Yeah. I'll show it in a little bit. Okay, there's the Scissor EX. Metal Saucer. just win very nice now we just win wow I don't even need to search for the Mew <laughs> the deck just hands me the Mew uh, so I want that and that's and that's good enough we'll go bench Mew play the stadium attach the energy retreat and GG Aruni if you're playing metal you just play station indeed you saw a magnifying glass that shows the list if you click on it and you're on mobile. Oh, there you go. Maybe there's a magnifying glass that you can see the list in, as Jay's fan mentions. Okay, I'll show the list quickly. Okay, this is the list that I'm playing right now with the split art muse. <laughs> split rarities rather than art. Split rarity, Goose Mahala as well so yeah make sure you take a screenshot and then take another screenshot right and then if you find the magnifying glass then maybe you can just click on that alrighty alrighty I really hope we get like a good match against ADP or something. Okay, he lets me go first. He lets me go first. Um, this seems like the best phone to have here. All right, I get a mulligan, so I get to see what I'm up against. Well, I didn't get too much information of all that.
What about on computer? On computer, there should be a big red button that says view deck. Yeah, like generally there should be a big red button that says view deck. Okay, it is up against ADP station, so I really hope I get to use my, um, my Jirachi. I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this, and I'll bench this guy. And then, because of field lore, I'm gonna retreat. And then I'll do this. Uh, I probably shouldn't have played the stadium, actually. <laughs> that was a bad call. Playing the stadium was a bad call. I mean, I was preemptively thinking about Chaotic Swell with the Marshadow, but yeah, like, I, I just assumed I could Juniper, <laughs> which is silly. Which is actually very, very silly on my part. The good thing is I can use Jirachi's attack with a single lightning, so that's nice. That is certainly nice. Yeah, like there should be a big red view deck button where you can look at the list if you're on a computer on the left side of your screen. Yeah, that was silly of me. Why did I play the stadium? That was very silly. That was indeed very silly. No double dragon energy attached yet, uh, but no supporter plate yet. And there's a supporter. Why would you play Cynthia and expand? There's so many better options. So, so many better options. And they have Clefairy as well. Okay, so I do have Pokemon Ranger, which I'm not gonna be able to use this turn. Oh, maybe I can use this turn. If I go Pokemon Ranger though, hmm. This is interesting. This is an interesting choice. I feel like I'd rather discard the energy, because that will slow him down. Sure, let's attach, and then let's take a more. I could have used Orangaroo. Um, not gonna... no. I, they could have another stage, right? I will bench... no. Yeah, I will bench the Mew. And then we'll go Stardust. So no energy and this guy is immune, right? And I got the Ranger, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, Sigamore and Colrez, like for that deck, Guzmahala, um, I don't know, like Cynthia is so underwhelming. Okay, there is a tackle, double Malolana. We knew my opponent had a Malolana in hand, now he has two Malolanas. Why do you play Malolana in this? I have no clue. Oh, what? What even is this deck? What even is this deck? Okay, Flowstone and Special Energy. So, probably gonna attach to the Bench guy. I am okay with that because then I get to Ranger. And we see an Intrepid Sword. I don't have a good attack though to copy. Don't have a good attack to copy. I think I should steal Ranger though. Definitely think I should steal Ranger. Because then it's only one price card, right? And that's fine. And then I don't feel like losing my energy. So I just give up on the Oranger, right? I think that works. It's not the best thing. It's not the worst. I'll just pass. I don't want to lose these energies that I already attached. So yeah, Pokemon Ranger. My opponent just got Pokemon Ranger for 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 the person who asked if I get Rangered. Well, there we there we have it. <laughs> I did not indeed get Rangered. All right. Another Cynthia, oh my god. Does this person even play the Seekers? We need a Ranger reprint. Eh. Not sure we need a Ranger reprint. 
would be nice, sure, but I don't think we need one. Okay, so do I just discard the energy again? I think it's, I don't have a great, like, offensive option, I would say, you know? Okay, so I definitely, definitely need to draw. I definitely, definitely need to draw um, a Pokemon to attack with, not this turn, but the next turn, right? Um, I think I just remove the energy again. I really think that's a plan here. And you know what? Let's get rid of just that, because I want to free up the bench space, actually. And then we'll start us again. So that's two energies, two special energies down. Seishan can only attack back to back turns. We'll see. Yeah, we shall see what happens. ADP does get rangered sometimes. <laughs> oh, he just has the energy, but that's okay though. If, unless he has Guzma, we're fine. That happened way too much when you played ADP Medicham Clay. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I haven't played Ranger in a long time. Scoop up net, uses Shaman. I'm guessing looking for Guzma, but based on the fact that he's playing Cynthia, he might be playing Boss instead. Expanded League Challenge before the pandemic. Nice. <laughs> there aren't any expanded tournaments in Mexico. That really sucks. Okay, so my opponent just attacked into the Jirachi effect with another energy. Didn't even bother attaching. So... I mean, not attaching energy feels bad, but also, like, I don't need to do anything else, you know? Become immune again. If he didn't have it last turn, either he top decks it, and then it's like the top deck gets him one prize card, right? With Seishen, and that's not a big deal. Energy switch. Stardust number three. Yeah. Wait, is it number three? It got blocked by Stardust. Wait, what do you mean? I know, I know the attack got blocked by Stardust. We get end, that's okay. <clears throat> that is a okay. All right, well, that's not a fantastic hand. Okay, have to use Intrepid Sword. Um, okay, so now it's time to resetting hole. And then I can play this. The pseudo Wudo is honestly very annoying right now. Um, do I want to deck him out? <laughs> I feel like I want to deck him out instead. Instead of winning the conventional way, I feel like I'm going to deck my opponent out. Well, or is that too greedy? Like, if I'm going to do that... Mm, I mean, sure, I'll give it a try. I kind of like that. Well, actually, item locking seems good as well. I think I'm gonna go for that instead. Like, I don't have a plan, I just, I'm slow and steady once the rates at this point. Quicking punch, <clears throat> no item cards for my opponent, so no float stone, no switch if he has that. Um, only support jersey, he could go Guzma KO, that's okay. Down to 14 cards, so maybe the Burrow will help. Probably shouldn't have finished the, the Bunnel Bee to start off my turn. Um, 
I know, this is like, I'm winning by doing 10 and 30 damage. So, okay, so there's the Guzma. Does go after the Seismic Toad. Does go after the Seismic Toad. Which is fine, right? It generally, it's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Well, he's down now to two prices. Yeah, maybe that was way too passive. Maybe I should have just targeted the station, because that's the only threat, right? I probably should have just attacked the station. Um, okay, so the GOAT, I have KO, right? Three prizes. I do have KO on station with double, because right now I'm doing 210. Oh no, I don't have KO, actually. I don't have KO. But I will, once he knocks something else out, I can go six second, boop, goodbye. Oh, I did have KO, I'm so dumb. I should have used scoop up map, and then I discard that, I have the bent, oh my god. And I thought about it, I just, but I looked at my hand like, oh no, I can't quick ball. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, oh, uh, this is kind of bad. Oh, that was silly of me. I might lose because of that. I might actually lose because of that. Wow, it chose to conserve the energy. Oh, I might lose. Oh, I don't die. Oh my god, the goat. The goat doesn't die here. However, <laughs> that also means I don't take a KO. Okay, I don't think I need Jirachi anymore. Uh, I can Lele for Guzma. No. Okay, I'm gonna shame him. I don't have good supporters, actually. <laughs> okay. 10, of, 10 HP away and he's, he has two of those things in the discard pile. Okay, I do have... I do have... Um, a Fallstone left, which is... Oh no, I don't have Fallstone left. Okay, so I need DC to retreat. I need DC to retreat. Okay, oof. <laughs> and then we go... Sky Return? Nah, why would I Sky Return? I go Revenge Blast and get a kill. That was very poorly executed. That was very, very poorly executed. Why not attack with the one without the twin? Uh, well, because one energy is not enough to do Revenge Blast, right? I need two. Or do you mean when I used uh, Quaking Punch? Or when I used uh, Drachi? I probably should, when I attacked with Drachi, I probably should have used this one, yeah. Uh, Sinistee makes both players draw two cards. Well, the thing is, Bunnelby, like, Bunnelby discards two cards, which is better than giving them two cards. And also, Roto Tiller can be good, right? In case you need to recover a resource to win, so... I don't know. Yeah, there's merit to both. Okay, Clefairy can only copy and counter, right? Which is perfectly fine. That is a potential problem, because my opponent hasn't used any Metal Saucers, and you'd assume he's playing four, right? You meant with Quaking Punch, because there was no stadium at that point. I didn't have a stadium when I Quaking Punched, I'm pretty sure. Uh, like, I had the Marshadow, but I hadn't drawn a stadium, I think. I'm not 100% sure. If I remember correctly, I think. That, that is a mistake. I think my opponent thinks that they can copy this, but... Oh, well, never mind. Jeez, they have Guzma... And, yeah, Guzma and Lysander. <laughs> okay. Ugh. How many Guzma does this person run? More than one? Uh. Okay. So, I can't win next turn, and I'm in, I'm at risk of losing. Oh, I can't believe. Okay, well, 
I think I... I don't even know what I want to do. Okay, I think my win condition is go... Double KO. Like, double KO, Kuzma KO. Right? I think that's how I win. I think that's how I win. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna lose this match. Kuzma stall? I couldn't Kuzma stall. I didn't have Kuzma. It's Kuzma win, right? Like, I'm trying to win, so I need my opponent to whiff an attack. If they whiff an attack, then I can win. I go Dazzling Machine for Guzma, Knockout ADP to win. Because Revenge Blast does 270. Because they've taken 5 price cards. That stadium doesn't matter. They did have 2 though. <laughs> what even is this list? Like, this is the most teched out list. They have Mimikyu, they have Teferi, they have 6 Sigmunds. Uh, 2 Metal Saucers down, they have Guzma and they have Lysander, which also doesn't make sense. They even have non-matching energies. <laughs> non-matching energy they have scoop up nets they have trainer snail they have like every good card they, they just put it in there every good card they just they're playing it right now who's my hell okay no. If he had the fourth double dragon energy, he could have just won by getting that and flowstone here. Oh my god. What? Why do you play air balloon instead of flowstone? What the heck? Why? <laughs> Why would you play Air Balloon to reduce 2 when you can play... <laughs> Why would you play Air Balloon to reduce 2 when you can play Floatstone to reduce all of it? I do not understand. I don't understand. Maybe I played it too passive in the beginning. I was trying to be fancy with the item lock and Jirachi and then my opponent just like almost wrecked me. Don't play Air Balloon in Expanded, guys. Don't play Air Balloon in Expanded. Playscape Games, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, guys. How is your stream? How is your stream? Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so... Two Shamans. ADP, two six Sigoons, two Sations, one Kremorant, three Scoop Up Nets, only two Tackles, one Energy Switch, what? One Great Catcher, one Charge, one Trainer's Mail, one Scrabble Switch, one E-Hammer, one Tool Scrapper instead of Field Blower, uh, three Quick Balls, one Kuzma Hala, one Metal Lana, one Light Center, one End, one Kuzma, two Cynthia, one Kuzma Hala, oh, two Kuzma Halas. Total one Marty, so no research, no sycamore, no nothing. One muscle, one air balloon, one muscle band. All right, all right. Let's play one last one with this new box. I was right about going first. <laughs> what do you mean? I was right about going first. Playscape games. What did I say about going first? Like you wanna, you wanna always go first, right? Uh, and nice, you got eight points. So where are you at in the player's cup? You can't lose if you take against every single deck, right? Yeah, that's that's the logic. <laughs> oh my god, we're up against Agro and the X guy again. But now we have a dead hand. <laughs> we're gonna pitch this just in case. Now we have a dead hand though. Well, I mean, maybe they don't have the cards, right? That generally could be a factor. Maybe they only own one floatstone, and maybe they don't own field lower. I'd be very surprised if that was the case, but... No, play safe games. Like, going second means you give them a turn. Like, 
choosing to go second against ADP is terrible because then they go bench ADP attached and then next turn they go attach GX. Whereas if you go first and you go bench alternatives attach, then they need to GX. If they don't GX, then you go like boom, get a KO and then that puts you very far ahead. Yeah, no, choosing to go first is, is terrible. 40 points with 30 keys, okay, that, that's pretty good, yeah. I mean, it, and if you've been choosing to go uh, second on purpose, then imagine what's gonna happen now when you choose to go first. Okay, I'm gonna encounter because my hand really sucks. And I'm gonna grab, I feel like Lele for N seems reasonable. Yeah, Lele for N seems reasonable. Maybe I should have attached to get back to back snipes. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, okay, please give me. It's just earlier, um, there was someone else asking about going first with Luke Metal and stuff. Oh no, poor Bunnelby is dead. With Gale Thrusts. Okay, so, oh, and I top deck the end, what the <laughs> I went for Lele to grab N with a 1 in 44 chance and I just top deck the card. <laughs> okay, well now I'm gonna teammates then. I'm gonna teammates for the Krem. I'm gonna grab the stadium so I can attack. And then we'll do this, and then we'll do this. And honestly, I'm gonna attach the DC to this guy. And sure, I'll bench this person for now, and then, well, I could metronome. Nah. I'll just bench up. Scrapper and Balloon over Blower and Stone. Do they play Muzzle Band over Vitality Band? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but generally they might simply not own the cards, right? That is a possibility. Cynthia. Don't play Cynthia in Expanded, guys. Do not play Cynthia in Expanded. Okay. Takes away my stadium. Also kills me. Mm. I hate speed shotting here, but oh well. Like with this guy. Uh, sure, I'll bench you, and then I'll end you, down to four. And then I need to get Mew, that's nice. I do find the Mew. Uh, yeah, I'll just take the KO here, spit shots. Just target the energy, right? Just target the energy, and then whatever they do, I'll survive. And then hopefully I can just take a KO. Um, I have this 10 here. Hopefully I bench something else so that we win just like the previous game. You ran into someone who played Shauna. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. And there's this India, right? Good six solid cards instead of 7 with Research or 7 with Congress. What does this even do? 50 if there's a Stadium you discard it. Okay, so he's gonna discard his own Stadium which takes away Weakness, which obviously doesn't matter. Bench the Caesar B, I can't snipe that, but I can maybe just get my last surprises with the GOAT. So that's fair. That is definitely fair. Tank a hit. So yeah, not the most competitive deck. There must not be playing. A, there does. There deck. There must not be a lot of people playing expanded, honestly. Um. Oh, you can choose to discard, but you don't have to discard it. Okay, this has two twenty. So I'm gonna put the damage there, so I can kill with the goat. Next turn, no matter what. So I'll grab the goat. Uh, also thin. 
the Drachi, sure. And then I'll go attach. And I'll go bench the goat and I'll research. I probably should have benched the other Mew. Oops. Well, it's fine. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna reset in coal. This has one AE. And I'll bench that. I mean, I'll play that. I'll get rid of your thing. And then I'll get rid of Ranger. And I'll grab the Mew. And then I have the other Quick Ball. And I have Guzma Hala. So I think I'm fine. Oh no, I didn't get a, a Float Stone. Oh, whoops. And they get a flowstone to attack. Whoops. <laughs> Azul, wait, how did. You were using Altaria, how did they turn it to speed you? Like, did they have. Um, did they have a bunch of spirit tones, or how did they beat your Altaria? How did they actually beat your Altaria? Okay, can this scissor or the VMAX KO my double? No, they can't, right? I hope, I'm pretty sure they can't. I should have played the stadium. That was very silly of me. Finding Fury Belt is annoying though. Because now, no, I still did, I still do 270 and that's enough. Hack off, yeah, I think I'm fine. I think I should be fine still. Ah, uh, and I got that. Nice. Okay. Honestly, I'm just gonna discard this. I'm gonna go for Shaman. Guzma Hala is pretty good to have for next turn. And... Sure, I'll do this. Get rid of these two. I'll grab that, that, and that. Yeah. And then I'll go attach here. I'll keep the flowstone in hand. And I'll go revenge blast. Yeah, revenge blast gets a KO. And then Mew dies. And then revenge blast KOs that, KOs that. Um, I got rid of the Guzma. But now I have Guzma, so that's cool. Yeah, this should be game. Closer than I expected it to be, though. Oh, wait, if they have Guzma, yeah, Shaman dies and I'm dead. <laughs> Oops, I should not have finished that Shaman. Okay, if you've already won, don't do this. Ah, uh, oopsies. <laughs> Can't believe I lost that. That was on me though. That was 100% on me. That was 100% on me. So they have a lot of non-GX. Yeah, like I understand that they had a lot. I'm asking which ones did they have? Did they have Spiritum? Uh, Hoobas? Like what did they have? Oh, I can't believe I lost that match. That was very silly of me. That was very silly of me, honestly. Not gonna lie. Okay, so, 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 so. Hexter is starting in around 30 minutes. So I'm gonna stop the stream. No, I'm not gonna stop the stream. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take a, take a small break. Yeah. And I'll be back with Hexter. I'm gonna be playing Eternatus for Hexter. A, a new variant that I'm gonna be trying out, okay? Which features, it's very low on the Pokemon, okay? It's very low on the Pokemon, but I'm playing Turbo Patches to counteract the hammers, and I'm playing Power Plant to stop the Denny's, okay? This is the regular account, yes. So, I guess I have a little bit, like I have three Spiritums as well to try and deal with Samacenta. I'm trying to play this to counteract Crushing Hammers, and then this to counteract um, the Denny GXs. I'm trying to abuse the fact that ADP does not play stadiums most of the time, okay? So this will be my uh, list for Hexter that starts in a little bit. I do have a coaching session that starts at 7 p.m., so I'm gonna have to cut the stream then, but if I'm doing well in Hexter, I'll probably end up streaming again. If I'm not, then I probably won't. Um, but yeah, I will be back when Hexter starts in a little bit, okay? Don't go anywhere. I appreciate you guys hanging in here. I'll be back in around 10 or 15 minutes when round one gets started. Great back.